What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. I'm recording video number two today. Today is a double upload and it's because I have more to say. Uh, so, first of all, since you last saw me, I bought this hoodie um, from Los Angeles Archive. Um, from, oh no, from Los Angeles Archive. Um, now, these people have had a controversy in the past where they were selling Dove hoodies, uh, but they were fake Dove hoodies. They weren't fake. Los Angeles, Los Angeles Archive claims that they were from another production run that never came out, but <laughs> they could just say that. They could have just made. Uh, they could have just sold fakes. Um, but I've seen people buy uh, this 2020 Vision hoodie from them, and uh, it seems like it's not fake and it seems real. Uh, however, if it is fake, oh well, it's still a high quality hoodie, you know. Um, so. You may remember, uh, maybe two or three months ago, I bought the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga Dove hoodie um, for, I think, $121 after shipping and after tax. Um, and that was a pretty good uh, deal, deal because um, the MSRP for that was $240 for that hoodie. Um, and, you know, same with this one. I'm getting deals out there. Um, after shipping, which there's free shipping, and there was a, the, the, the free shipping is why I decided to go for this. But there was free shipping and there was free... Um, uh, well, there's free shipping. Okay, after free shipping, after tax, uh, I got this for $88.28, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm happy about it. Um, it's cool because the MSRP for this hoodie was $160. Um, this was the hoodie that came out when Kanye was doing his 2020 presidential campaign. Um, and this is just one of the, like, some campaign merchandise that you could have bought. Um, it's cool. Uh, it's supposedly even thicker than my normal easy company. So, uh, thing that I would say is that the this Easy Gap hoodie is basically like the sort of refined version of the 2020 Vision hoodie. Uh, they're basically the same thing, um, except this one was made in the U.S. It only came in this color, uh, but it was double layered, and the pocket came up like super high up your stomach, which is still the case with this hoodie, with the super long cuffs and everything. This is an extra large, so still like kind of cropped fit. Um, I went for a large on this one. I could have gotten an extra large, but I saw some people on YouTube who are six feet tall wearing this and I don't know, a large seem okay. Worst case scenario, it's a little cropped, which is how the hoodie is supposed to look. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. Um, the absolute latest it should arrive is on the 25th, and it's the 14th today, so it should arrive before the 25th. Um, but yeah, so I bought that hoodie, and I'm pretty happy about that. Um, another thing I want to mention is how I'm going to kill myself. I'm not going to kill myself. Um, I'm exaggerating, but look at all this work I have to do. Look at this. Uh, something I like to do is I like to write down all of the work I have to do in Obsidian uh, so that I don't have to go checking Canvas every uh, to go, go and check Canvas every day. So I have this big old list here. Um, and it's actually kind of irritating. I don't know. This is my bad, right? And this is my work from um, my most recent one. I, I Sometimes I move the work over to the next day's one, but... Um, 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 yeah, so uh, the terrible thing is that I sort of gauge how difficult each uh, section will be in my programming class based on how many points it gives me. So usually the less points it gives me, the more confident I am it's going to be kind of an easy section. And this one was like some of the least points ever. It's like, it's like 90 or 100 points, which is not that very many points. Uh, but I looked at it. And then it's like 21 sections. And it's so irritating because I thought it would be tiny, but I didn't look at it. I didn't realize it would be so many. Um, but that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to have to lock in a little bit. Um, it's fine. I don't know. Something interesting that always catches me off guard at around this time in, in the quarter is I, I'm always thinking like, oh, um, you know, like I always get a little ahead, I always get a little confident, and I think to myself like, oh, I've got this, I've got this, I'm going at an okay pace. Um, and it's interesting because I'm going at a certain pace, I slow down a little bit, right, because I'm getting confident, you know, and I'm like, oh, I could just do this, you know, I could, I could just do this, and I'm slowing down a little bit. But then I realize I have to keep that pace for like double the time. I just keep, it's like I, in my mind, I'm thinking of it as like a sprint, when really, you're, it's like a marathon, you know. 
Um, I think that's maybe an exaggeration, but it's like I I I underestimate how long of a period of time, like a quarter in school is, and how long I'm actually going to be doing work until the next break. Um, and so, you know, that happened again, uh, and it's fine. Like I'm still turning work uh, turning in work on time, and I'm still ahead. Uh, but especially with this weird sickness I've had. Uh, the past couple weeks, which I ended up not going to the doctor today. Um, I should be at the doctor right now, uh, but the thing that happened was I, at like 11.50, I was thinking of my, my mom called me. She was like, hey, are you still feeling sick? Or didn't, didn't you feel a lot better today? I was like, yeah, I do feel a lot better today. She's like, well, you know, maybe maybe you should cancel your appointment because they're just like, like, even if you were still sick, you would show up and they would just prescribe you some cough medicine. Uh, but because you're not sick, they're just going to be like, you know, that sucks, you know? Oh, well, um, pretty much, um, which, you know, is fair. Uh, I, I mean, I do want to do some research in what I have, but, you know, I, I don't think that I need to go to the doctor right now. Um, and so at 11.58, two minutes before... I wouldn't be able to cancel because you'd have to cancel within a four hour window. So two minutes before I was able to cancel, I was able to cancel my appointment. And yeah, it, it turned out. Um, but I do need to make an appointment there sometime for a checkup because uh, I'm overdue for a checkup. It's been over a year since, I have it, since I've had a checkup and I'm in good health, you know, um, but it's like, you know, um, you should go to the doctor once a year. You should go to the doctor. Um, But yeah, this is the both the easiest and the most difficult class in the world. It's this stupid, I have to use this stupid Pearson software. Um, if you know what Pearson is, you know it sucks. Just anything having to do with Pearson is just the, the worst thing you've ever interacted with in your life. And um, I have to go through this these stupid simulations, interacting with Microsoft Access, you know, and I, like, I, like, just use SQL. Like, what, like, what are you talking about? You know, it's just so crazy. Um, so I have to deal with Microsoft Access, and I have to deal with, uh, this upcoming one is about PowerPoint, and this one's actually looking pretty easy, so I'm happy about that. Um, and, you know, it does suck that I have so much programming work coming up, um, but that's actually okay, because out of all my classes, I think I enjoy the programming work the most. Um, and also, it looks like I'm a little ahead in IT 100 and Business 169, um, because, well, not, I'm not ahead in Business 169, but I'm happy that all of this PowerPoint stuff is going to be, like, pretty easy, presumably, because I already know how to use PowerPoint, as opposed to the Access stuff, and I don't know how to use Access. Um, the PowerPoint stuff's going to be pretty easy, and that's going to coincide with me not having to do that much work until, like, December 2nd. Uh, so from November 17th to like November 20, uh, November 24th, I'll just be able to like really knock out this programming work and lock in on it and have it be like the main, the main work that I do, um, uh, uh, the, the, the main work that I do, um, in, in this time, um. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have like a pound and a half of blueberries for dinner.